One of the most important skills in Sibelius is knowing how to navigate around your score. Again, I'm going to be using the uh, demo file that comes, or one of the demo files that comes with Sibelius, or being filigree. Um, the, the first and most obvious way to, to move around your score is, of course, to just use your mouse. Now, if I, for example, up here, if I just click on a blank part of the page, nothing really happens until I start to move my mouse. In which case my cursor turns into a wee hand and I can move around the page like so. I can move around my score. In fact, I can go from page to page and everything's fine. Where you have to be careful though is to make sure that you grab a blank part of the page. If by mistake, for example, you grab a stave and drag it, weird things happen. You can start, you can see you're moving all that down, but all this music underneath has all been crushed into itself and it all becomes unreadable and generally not good. Even weirder things happen if you grab a note by mistake. You can actually make notes that are unplayable. You can grab them and move them to the side and then just they just disappear because they've actually gone off the page. Let me just do that in slow motion so you can see what happened there. I grabbed that note there and I dragged it. No, I didn't. I grabbed that note there, excuse me, and I grabbed and I dragged it to the right. And as I did that, the space before it increased until eventually, see it's over now on the right hand side of the page. And now I'm just dragging it completely off the screen. But look where my mouse is compared to where the note is. So it's not a good idea if you're going to drag anything around. If you're going to try and navigate that is to just grab anywhere. Try and make sure you're in between staves or you're on a blank part of the page just to avoid these weird things happening. Another option you have to navigate around is a thing called the Navigator. Previous versions of Sibelius you will always have seen the Navigator down here on the, right -hand, the left hand corner. It tends not to be shown by default in Sibelius 7 or 7.5 but you can turn it on if you prefer by going to the view tab and the panels are all the floating panels one of which of course is the navigator there it's there so if you're used to using that and you prefer to carry on using it by all means turn it on and you can use it like so the way the navigator works is it's a miniaturized version of your score and the white part on the navigator is the part you can see on your screen and you can just grab that white part and move it around left or right through your score. One reason why I tend not to use it is because when I'm working quite quickly I tend to grab it and just drag it completely off the page and then suddenly I'm in page, in this case page 6 because that's the last page. If I happened to be on a score that was 50 pages long I would suddenly find myself in page, I don't know, 37 and only wanted to go to page 5. It's it's not ideal. From my, from my personal point of view, it's not ideal. But some people use it all the time, so the option's there for you to use it if you want. You can of course turn it on and off. You can turn it off, certainly, by using the wee red cross up there, or by going back to the panels and unticking his box there. Personally, as I said, I'll, I tend to leave it off. So, that's moving around your page, but there have to be other ways of doing that, yeah? Well, of course there are. You'll notice down here you have scroll bars. So you can scroll left or right through your, your score that way. And you can scroll you can scroll up and down through your page by using the scroll bar on the right hand side. Fairly standard stuff that you would expect to see. If you have a mouse which has a scroll wheel, then you can use that. So for example, I can now scroll up and down by using the mouse fairly straightforward and if I hold down the shift key and scroll I'm scrolling left to right which again sometimes you find that's quite handy if however instead of using the shift key I use the control key that's my zoom control and that's one of my zoom controls so you notice as I'm zooming in and out that this control down here is zooming with me so rather than using that, I could just have gone down here, grabbed the mouse, grabbed the, the, the wee slider with my mouse, and zoom in and out. 
zoom in and out that way. It's entirely up to yourself. There's no right and wrong with Sibelius. It's just whatever personal preference you have. So let me zoom in a wee bit. Okay, so I'm going to be zooming in and working at that sort of level there. If I use, instead of using the control key to zoom, if I use the shift key when I scroll, I'm now scrolling left to right throughout my score. So the scroll key, the scroll wheel on the mouse can either zoom up or down without any keys pressed, left or right with the shift key pressed, or it can zoom in and out with the control key pressed. You find if you if you have a, a scroll wheel on the mouse that you tend to use it quite a lot using these these shortcuts. There are of course keyboard shortcuts you can use if you prefer to use keyboard shortcuts rather than using the mouse. For example, on your keyboard you'll find a home key and an end key. Well the end key will move you left or right, will move you to the right through your score and the home key will move you to the left. It tends to go a page or a screen at a time. So for example if I zoom in here, so I'm looking at just a single bar and use the end key, I'm now looking at the next bar and the next bar and the next bar. And the home key similarly takes me back towards the beginning, a screen at a time. If I use the page up and down, page up, page down. Similarly, I go up or down through my page. And again, that tends to work a screen at a time. So for example, here I'm looking at the electric stage piano part, page down, five string bass guitar, page down, drum set and start the violins, page down, rest of, the, rest of the string section. Page up, takes me back up through those, a screen at a time. If however, I combine any of these keyboard shortcuts with the control key, I then move up or down to the end of the score. For example, if I, let me just, to make this a wee bit clearer, if I just zoom out a wee bit. Okay, so I'm now looking at, let's say the top of the score, top of the, the first page there. If I do control and then page down, I'm looking at the bottom of the score. And control and page up, takes me back to the top. Similarly, with the home and end keys, control and end will take me to the very end of the score. So I'm now at the end, you can see the double bar line at the end, at the very end. Control and home takes me back to the beginning. And using these keyboard shortcuts, you can very quickly navigate around your score in whichever way you prefer. There is, of course, another couple that you have to be aware of. Let's say, for example, I'm at the start, working away on this here, and I want to go to page three. Well, in that case, I would use a keyboard shortcut, Control plus Shift plus G. Control Shift G brings up an option saying what page do I want to go to. I want to go to page 3, click OK, and I'm on page 3. Or, the opposite of that is if I want to go to a specific bar, I can do Control plus Alt plus G. And it asks me which bar do I want to go to. I want to go to bar 3. It takes me to bar 3. Let's zoom out so you can see it, and it highlights it for me. The last keyboard shortcuts I'm going to show you for this video are keyboard shortcuts to allow you to zoom. And these use the numeric keypad. You'll see the plus and minus on the right hand side of the numeric keypad, and you combine those with the control key. So control plus will zoom you in, and control minus will zoom you back out. So you've got complete control either using the mouse, using the keyboard, or if you prefer, you can actually use the ribbon. So up here, for example, in the view tab, you'll see there are zoom controls over here. You can zoom to 100%. You can zoom to the page. Or you can zoom to the, the width of the system, which is from basically one end of the page to the next. Or if you use the zoom magnifier, you set an area and Sibelius will zoom to that area. It's entirely up to yourself. Um, as I said, there are no right and wrongs. It's whatever method you personally prefer. So once you get to know all these keyboard shortcuts, you can very quickly navigate roundabout Sibelius.